Hello, my name is Kostas Labropoulos, I'm from the University of Patras, Greece, and in this video I'm going to present you how you can create your own TCP congestion control experiment using the iMind virtual world. In this video we are going to set up and execute our own TCP congestion control experiment using the iMind virtual world. We will go through all the necessary steps required to set up our experiment and we will also discuss issues and problems that may arise during this process. We need to clarify here that this is not a video about TCP congestion control. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how you can create your own experiment using the fire facilities. A few words about the iMind virtual world. It is a generic test environment for conducting experiments on various systems, frameworks and technologies. Its facilities consist of 100 interconnected nodes. It runs on IPv6, however access with IPv4 is possible using their VPN. More information about the virtual world and iMinds can be found on their website. Before we move on, a few things about the preparation of our experiment. The viewer should have basic knowledge of computer networks and Linux operating system. In this video, we will use Linux operating system and the following software. If you don't already have this software installed in your computer, please do it now. Finally, the viewer must already have created his account for the virtual wall and the VPN. Let's begin now creating our new experiment. The first thing that you need to do is to go to the virtual wall website. As you can see here, this is the URL. And there you will find this page where you can see information about uh, documentation, uh, forums. You can find links that can, get you that can help you get started, as you can see here. Uh, you can also see the status of the virtual wall, how many experiments are active, uh, if there are any available nodes. And among others, there are uh, two links here. The first one is uh, to request for a new account if you don't have one. And the second, the second one is to log in. Uh, we will not discuss uh, the process of requesting a new account. Uh, we assume in this video that you already have one. So, uh, let's log in to our account. Uh, we see that uh, once a user logs in his account, he's redirected to his profile page. As you can see here, there is uh, information about the user. There are links to edit this information. And uh, you can also see the project that you have created or the project that you participate in and the experiment that you have created. Uh, here is the, uh, the list of my experiments. As you can see, I have uh, two experiments. Uh, this is their name. You can name your experiment whatever you like. Uh, the state means uh, that the, currently these experiments are inactive and uh, the nodes uh, indicate how many uh, machines, how many nodes this each or one of these experiment needs in order to run. Uh, let's go again to our profile page. Uh, another thing we need to discuss is that uh, here there are two menus. The first one is, uh, in the first one you can find uh, information uh, about the documentation and uh, you can uh, go to the forums and ask for uh, any help. And the second uh, menu is uh, a list of actions you can do in order to create and manage your experiment. Uh, before we create our new experiment, we need to first of all check this link here, which is the node status. Uh, in here we can see information about the nodes that the virtual wall provides. As you can see, the total nodes right now are 121 and uh, uh, as you can see, most of them are used. Uh, there are only seven nodes uh, available. You need to always uh, check how many free nodes exist in the system before creating uh, an experiment. And the reason for this is that uh, Let's go here and see. If I create a new experiment, let's say this one, 
and it needs uh, more nodes than the available right now, I cannot activate it. So you always need to see uh, to, to check how many available nodes exist in the virtual world before trying to activate your uh, experiment. 